today. Just left the port. And we've got a nice weather window. Actually looks pretty good all day. I could have gone to the shelf, but I'm gonna play it safe because I am by myself. And uh, I'm gonna go hunt a king at Montagu Island. That's my goal and objective for today. Get on the board with a kingfish. That would be absolutely awesome. I've got some bonito that I caught in the last episode, so I'm going to um, see if I can muster something up with that. And uh, also drag some lures around, get some fresh bonito when I first arrive. There she is, Montagu Island. I'm not seeing any other boats that are stupid enough to be out here with me, but we've done our position report. Birmingham Marine Rescue are all over it, thanks to those guys. Doing a registration over the radio is always pretty fun. Hooly dooly. Right, so I just started, oh, this is actually a good fish. Just started trolling here. <sighs> Pulled up, put some 40 pound on. <sighs> and as soon as I started trolling, this rod just went off. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a bonito, but went for a pretty good run. Might even be a little rat king. What do we got? I right, it's a bonito. Nice bonito. First fish is on board, and now I can rig up to try and get some kingfish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this up, get some strips and a nice little 5-6-0 circle hook, and I'm just gonna be drifting with that down in the water column. Ooh. She's not that comfortable out here. There's one, just like that. Gosh, they go pretty hard. All right, so this will be all of my bait that I need. I need to take any more. Gosh, there's some life around Montague. It's incredible. Here's the lighthouse just up here. Bit of first light coming through. Come on, mate, tie yourself out. <laughs> all right. No, bring the bloody treble in his mouth. I don't think there's any recovering that. Oh well. All right, it might be a little bit hard to hear me because of the wind, but what I've rigged up on 40 pound, FG, about a meter and a half of um, mono onto a ball sinker. Hopefully that's enough to get down. And then we're just onto a 5.0. I've got this little blocker here so it doesn't rattle as much. Um, just onto a 5.0 circle hook. Just trying out the stri stripy slayer. See if we can find a kingy on that. That'd be cool. But. Oh dear. I reckon that's a gummy shark. Oh no. Oh. Got some weight. Oh, I reckon I'm on a shot. Ah, he busted me. Yeah, all day that was gonna snap me off. Wowza. <laughs> I reckon it was a, uh, a shark of sorts. Alrighty, let's try again on my little rig. See if we can find a king. All these boats here are all balled up, so I reckon someone's onto a couple. Fish on. I don't think it's anything too exciting. Ah, he's off. Is he? No, he's still there. What have we got here? Oh, we've caught a snapper. A nice little pinky. How's that? Yeah, beauty. Hello, little guy. How you going? How's that? Not bad. Now, he's only 30 centimeters. I don't want to keep him. I'm not sure what the legal is here, so I'll double check. That's not bad. Nice little snapper to start the morning. See you, buddy. Have a good one. I'm gonna try and get a quick jig in here. 
bloody oath. It's pretty hard to fish today, solo to be honest. Looks like there's some nice fish on the bottom there. Nothing wants my bonito. There we go, on the jig. That's a nice fish too. <laughs> on the jig, up. Let's go. It's not a bad fish. Holy hat, what is this? Oh, I think it's a king. Look at him peeling. I think that's a kingfish. On the stripy slayer jig. Oh yeah, it's a king for sure. Shit. Oh god. I'm all kinds of caught up here. Oh, that's a king. King on the jig. Running solo. Against some shit chop. Let's go. Come on. King on the stripey slayer. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on. Oh god. It's a good fish. Come on. Oh. Wow. He's still going. He's so angry. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to get another reverse on this. Oh God, come on, up you come, let's go, come on, come on mate, here he is, here he is, it's not a bad kingfish, all on the stripy slayer jig, still unhappy, Please don't drop off. All right, let's try and bite him. Oh, yes! -hoo -hoo! Oh, mate, you beauty. Oh, dude, first drop on the jig, and that king just came straight up into it. I was like, on the way up, holy hat. That thing just stopped. The old stripy slayer has chin hooked a kingfish. That's my first king on a jig. My own jig. Whew. That got pretty hairy there because I've still got another rod out. Oh my gosh, let's get a uh, measure on these. They need to be 65 in this area, but I think I'll be taking this home. He looks pretty big. 65, please. 65, coming home with us. I'd say he's legal just from looking at him. 79 centimeters that's a gorgeous fish if you want to grab your one 60 gram 80 gram or 200 gram stripey slayers head over to tazcast.com.au support the channel you saw how i hooked that up We're just fluttering it up it was just a quick retrieve up from the bottom and he went pretty hard to start with he was pretty lethargic and uh yeah then he started peeling on and boosting and gave that PE to a run for its money, that's for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Can't believe I've ticked that off the list. What a fantastic fish. 160 gram stripey slayer. He's coming in at 75, 76 centimeters. So it is legal up here for Montagu Island, which is 65, I believe. So we're gonna uh, humanely spike this one, get a bleed on him, and he's coming home for dinner. Here's one, another one. There we go. Yes. They are loving the stripey slayer. Oh, oh dear. 
Oh, the kings are on, baby! Woo! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, gosh! Come on, don't reef me, don't reef me. I've got to get your head up, mate. You're coming with me. Oh, gosh, these go hard, eh? They go so hard. Oh, I think this one might be bigger than the last. Oh, they're liking the stripy slayer. It is a little bit darker today as well, so I'm not sure. It might be the color and the and the flashing. Oh. Come on, mate. I apologize for all of the wind in this video too, but not much we can do. Oh, I'm not getting much on this. Oh. Here he is, another beautiful king. I reckon he's about the same size as the last one. Maybe a little bit smaller actually. Got a pretty good hook set on him, so I might just pull him in like this. Don't want to lose this jig, but he's coming in. How about that? He's smaller than the first one. 160 is going off. I've been running bait, getting it down there, and nothing's wanted it. Exactly the same hook set as the last one. Just in the butt here, up on the gut, and in the mouth. And we're going to give this guy a release. How awesome is that? Number two. Bloody epic. See you, buddy. Woo! Right, after that release, we'll see if we can get another one. Then we might call it a day. But all these boats are up here doing their own thing. And I've got this pocket of kings all to myself and I'm not complaining. There's another one. Got him on the way up. Wow, I think this might be something different. Either that or I've hooked him in the tail. Yeah, this feels like something different altogether. Doesn't feel like a king. Unless I've just hooked him weird. What have we got here? It might be a little Benito on the jig. Here we go. Yeah. Gosh, look at the teeth on it. Thanks for playing, buddy. You take care. Have a good one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See if we can pull one. One more would be nice. There we go. That's a king. All day. That's a king. Oh, yes. Yeah. That bait just looks so much better then. Made sense why there was a king under it. Ah. Come on, mate, don't reef me. Come on, get up. Oh, oh this PE2 looks like it's gonna snap. <laughs> yeah, boys, get onto him. There's plenty just here. Yeah. Are you on bait? I've just been knife jigging them. They've been thick even up here. Yep. Woo. Up you pop. Here he is. Getting a bit of colour on him here. It's not too bad. Another beautiful king. Woo! Reckon it's, it's a bit smaller than some of the other models. But the same thing again. They're just hooking up at exactly the same spot. Chin hooking here, and then um, hooking straight in the mouth.
Okie dokie. Well, the wind's picked up quite a bit. I'm gonna punch it home, play it safe. At least I'm going straight into it. Gonna follow the coastline up and get back to Bermagui. I've got about 20 kilometers to trek. 15, 20 kilometers. Have a good one, boys. All right, let's make it happen. This is gonna be shit. <laughs> there is no point in uh, trying to cut across it too much. And I don't know what the heck is going on, but there is a kayaker just up here, kayaking from Montego Island over to Boat Harbour Point. That's unreal. Wow, this is unreal. Definitely one of the biggest seas I've been in by myself. And you know it's uh, big seas when there's a big yacht in front of you and they go missing and then pop back up every now and then. <laughs> Gee whiz. Slow and steady for me to get home, that's for sure. We're just arriving back to Bermagui now. Uh, much better weather. Just sheltered in here away from all of the slop. But that was a fantastic session done before 12. And now I can just clean some fish and <clears throat> kick back for the afternoon and relax before some marlin fishing tomorrow. All right, we're back on land and it's time to give this kingfish a nice clean. And that's a bit of a wrap for this little episode. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks very much for tuning in to this episode of me jigging some kingfish. If you have any advice for the other king fishermen, drop a comment down below. Share some of your knowledge. This is all about learning, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, Bermagui, and thank you, Montague. Over and out. See you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Pretty hard to get any fresher than that. Beautiful piece of kingfish.